going on guys how you doing this your boy clay back again another one if you were to build a machine which one would it be which brand which type today we're gonna feature another mad machine guys and yo this machine have a lot of vibe people yo big up to everybody that has been liking these vlogs subscribing sharing enjoying the content that i've been releasing recently i appreciate the support that i've been getting and we just want to say big up to everybody and yo today vibe is gonna be a crazy one so we're not do the intro too long i'm gonna jump right into the vibes and show you what i go on So the bad bad subaru double rx and guys i'll give my chance to tell us all about this car and all you need to know about it so i got allow do i well i got allow him to tell us his name the car him drive and the year yeah, man. my name is dwight clark this is a 2004 wrx all right dwight so double rx machine bad car one yeah. of my favorite cars you know one i carry me always love and simply because of one reason and one reason only, the grumble. <laughs> I love the grumble. I always love the grumble. I, mean, I say, yo, most of the time I the super with me here with the grumble and I something I want. But what I want to ask you, Dwight, is why did you choose a double RX or Subaru as a car where I got built? Yo, you know, so from ever since, I love Subaru. He's a hardy man still, but from a Jamaican, you know, I say, yo, I want a Subaru, I want a Subaru. You know? I always love, as I said, the sound. And we know say it can build some power, so right now I work on some things. Right, you know? And how long have you had this, this Subaru? Two years now. Two years now. Yeah. Enjoying it? Yes, man. Nice, yes, nice, man. nice. nice man. And guys, we are giving a chance to really get to know this car because Dwight did a lot of work on it recently. And you know, from spray drop to some upgrades. So, yo, we are going to talk about it. So, yo, Dwight, follow me now. I'm going to start with the front. People who know my style already. Start from the front of the camera up my own. Um, as it relates to the front do I tell me what have you done to the front of the car that would have been different from 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 what you had when you just got it I uh, changed the light um, the lip and uh, we put on a, a license plate um, relocator relocator yes. so this headlight do I um, was is it a, is it did, did you get it with the, the running light strip and, and all of that yeah man it come come just like that seen seen Add some more things like add this piece to it. Okay. Yeah, so this man. this is a this is like a side side piece. Yeah, it come on the, the STI. Okay, okay. Yeah. So guys, if you look here, you can see that this part here is a addition to the car and it's really nice. You know, you know, like you it, it instead of building a mole on the side, they actually have one from the STI that you can fit on it. And it's the same fitment, no conversion. Yes, no conversion. Same. And the lip. Really nice and neat. Looks like a polyurethane lip as well. Yes, yes. Nice, nice guys. See, come all the way around to the front. No joining, all in one, fit neat and the Subaru. As you mentioned, the license plate relocator. Really nice. The hood scoop. You came yes. on the car? Yes, come on, but it's put on a bigger one. Oh, so you changed it to a bigger one? Yeah, that okay. Bigger. All right, guys, so you see, intercooler. Was upgraded so bigger intercooler saying so it's a bigger hood scoop is it because the space that the smaller one was covering was too small to yes, fit yes yes okay so yeah okay mad 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 we are going to the side can we see some mad wheels on the car right now and do it tell me what i go on for them wheels yeah yeah man them are some rotor uh them are 18 nine and a half what kind of offset on it uh 38 38 offset guys I'm sure on our side on view so let's see where it is 
real nice and smooth guys sitting on some maxis z3 245 40 18 guys brake system any upgrade on the brake no not yet so this is where you're planning to upgrade it yeah i'll put on some brim I see, I see some, 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 some marking on the disc rotor. Is it that's how it came on it? Yes, that you upgraded yes, it? Yes, that's, that's how. Yeah, you know what? We, we upgraded the rotor. So oh, the upgrade was, the yeah. rotor was changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, guys, if you look closely, as you can see, and I know mostly these rotors are what would come on a upgraded type of rotors. Suspension wise, coil over, CX racing, 32 wheel damper. CX racing, not, not familiar much with that suspension but if you could tell the viewers like how well would you say this suspension is in terms of ride height comfort and, and what you want believe me we, we use a lot of coil over i'm gonna tell us yo this this one right really really good what we did that we are um uh lower end spring uh, adjustable struts and from me change it to the whole heap of difference whole heap of There's difference. no comparison wow all right guys you hear that six Six, said, six right? Racing, yeah. Six racing for persons who have. Do, do they make it for other brand cars? That's only Subaru. Yeah, yeah, other brands yeah. of people. Six racing is another brand out there. I never heard of that one before, but you hear it for yourself first. And quality is up there. Really, really nice. No so, rubbing. No rubbing. When you lower it, stay one place. Yeah. I noticed you have a side splitter on it. Yes. Was this something that you had to customize or you get it directly for just, the Subaru? Just directly for the Subaru and bolt on. Oh, so Subaru seem to make a lot of wow. I need I need to start check out Subaru things, you know, cause you know people don't know where go with the axe, you know. <laughs> you see me? So side skirting, that is a stock skirting, guys, on it, and then he had it a splitter at the side, which is direct bolt on, no adjustment needed, and it looked neat. You can see. Also, come here at the side, right? Have a kind of a flip up rising. Four wheel this system, so as you can see, this are back suspension up but the fuel um back bumper size splitter yeah. same bolt on as well yeah same bolt on the screw on no adjusted no. and then guys if you look closely there is a diffuser at the back you see me that was bolt on so this diffuser no adjustment needed as well do i Ma minor. minor minor adjustment, adjustment. okay yeah, minor as in shaving off yes. at the edges and stuff. Because what happened, this would fit directly on a STI bumper. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I had to. Okay, so you yeah. had to do a little. Yeah. Looks nice, man. Exhaust system. Tell us a bit about what you're running on this. It's full pipe from turbo all the way back. What size? I think it's a three inch. Three inch pipe system. Yes. And it's running an HKS muffler system. Guys, we know I always want to hear the car sound, so we soon we soon make hear that. Um, uh, we're gonna make an hear it soon, but of course, this this license plate all like it, it it's you bought this separate as well. Yes, yes, for Subaru. So guys, as you can see, you can actually buy the area mount for the license plate. This one is in carbon fiber. You see me, really nice. Double RX badge, and I don't know where it go. These spoilers, I know there are several different type of spoilers, but personally, this this spoiler is my favorite one. The one that come with the two pin in the middle. Um, was this something that you got for it? Yes. Um, you add this to it. It's like okay. a stabilizer. Stabilizer. Yeah. Oh, so the spoiler was like this before, but yes, you add the middle yes, piece to it. Yes. Yes. Okay. So it stabilizes it as well. Um, in terms of down force, it help with that as well. Yes. Yes. Mad, mad people. You know, see that? Sick, sick, sick thing. Yo, the car clean like whistle. And you, you recently sprayed this car. Yeah. The white. Um. You know, people are still can see clean and want to know yeah, what is man. prayer, man. <laughs> yeah, man, a uh, cereal, right? A rock. Seeing cereal yeah, man, from Chilani. rock, Chilani. Yeah, people man. cereal are spray from the ages and them and they know the work. So, yeah. as you can see with this Subaru, mint. Wow. Mint, mint, mint. So, when you see it on the street, you know what I'm going to talk some more about it, but I'm going to show you a little bit of the interior. Let's you know, see what's inside and, and how the, the whole thing set up. Guys, right, so we in the interior of the car now and first thing I notice is on the dash clock, dashboard sorry, there is some gauges. Um normally I see them on the door post, but I realize that Dwight have these on the dash. Um Dwight, tell us why you chose here instead of the door door pillar. Well this 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 fit fit perfect 
I do have a clock here, like a regular clock. Okay. So we just they remove it. Yeah. yeah. So, so how many these gears have in here? Tell us what each uh, gears represent. One of them are air fuel ratio. So this one is which one? The oil. oil these are the oil pressure. Yeah. And these are the air fuel AEM. Yes. And the next one is boost. Is that K series oil and wide one? AEM K series. I think so. Yeah, yeah, man. Nice, nice, nice. Like it. And this one is the boost, boost gauge. Yeah. Um, five-speed manual. Yes. The guy's not showing on the shifter. No joke. I wish won't tell why this man have cabs all over him here. You see me? My rat the brand there. <laughs> and you know the interior is pretty simple. Um, gauge, dash clock area. You see me? RPM clock and any upgrades for the interior, Dwight? Not yet, but I want to change out the seat and seats. put in some bright. Bright seats, yes. red? Yeah. Red brides. Red and black. Racing straps. Yes. All right, you know. Guys, I was showing that the engine be. I was telling you I really are going for that. And, and, and of course, any in upgrades that Dwight might want. So, all right, so Dwight have, have something you want to show us as well. Um, people. So, this control there, uh, Met, Met kit. So do I have a med kit on the car guys, which we'll show you the med kit in a few, but it also have a controller. So this controller now, tell us, explain to us like, what, what does this, it do? Yeah, this just adjusts the amount of methanol going at the interior. Okay, yeah. and and you do that on the basis of whether you want to like do road or you want to run a no, cruising you know, mode? We, 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 from the tune I set it, right. it, you don't touch it? No. Okay, okay, so normally if you were, you would adjust this on the event that you were doing a retune? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. so as you can see guys, and it's an AM methanol injection controller guys. So if you're wondering what it is, it's an AM brand and it's a methanol injection controller. Which is really mad. You see me? I'm going to show the methanol kit in the trunk soon. So, yo, I'm jumping at the engine bay and showing you what's going on. Alright, people, we are in the engine bay. And as you know, most, I don't know, I'm going to ask the wife still, but I know most times I see Subaru with top mount intercooler. Is this a standard thing? Yeah. Or are they normally mount at the front yeah, as well? It comes come stuck with top mount, but my thing right now. Want to move it and put, put it at the front or front, yeah, oh, front mount intercooler in a bigger turbo, right? Right, yeah. all right. So, first, let me start with here. Do I? Right. This is a um, what do you call it? A heat shield, is a heat no, shield for the no. airflow? No, um, this to back up the air, back up the air in here, yeah. And this is a cast brand, yeah. All right. Was was it made specifically for this yes, car? Yes, cop. Uh, all right, and this is a cash can, yes. All right, so. Intercooler, was this the one that came in the car? No, this is a upgraded. Upgraded yeah. intercooler. Why did you upgrade the intercooler in the car? More air. More, More air. Yeah. See? And this is, guys, as you can see, that on intercooler. This is how it is. Um, any works done to the engine? Yes. Um, Change the piston and the, the oil pump. Piston and oil pump. Yeah, and what, 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 what and size come in it? This is a EJ2. It's an EJ25. EJ25 engine. So, so the engine was replaced. Oh, it was from replaced? A two, from an EJ20. Oh, so EJ. Okay, so from EJ20 to an EJ25, guys. And there's some um, piston work. Manly piston, you said? Yes. Yeah, man. Anything else? No, nothing in it. Not more than the engine. See, but see. we have a, a bigger turbo. Bigger turbo as well. Yeah, and a go fast speed. So the blow off valve is a go fast blow off valve. Which is this one? So this here guy go five bits blow up valve. Um, this thing here, nice, nice, nice. Water. So guys, as you can see, the suspension on top. Yeah, man, mad thing with the adjuster as well, damper control as well. Any, any, any plans to add more stuff to the engine, like upgrade it? Yes, yes. Change the connecting rod. See? That's the only thing. Right. What kind of turbo you have on it at the moment? Uh, FP Blue. FP Blue. Uh, that push, uh, can get about 475. So at the moment, the turbo on it is can get 475 as per that. Easy, easy. Or some well, serious uh, work. Max, max. Maximum. Yeah, okay. I know, no, maximum. So I get a bigger one as well. Yeah. Um, of course. When I see the turbo, I know. Yeah, turbo, turbo cover. Oh, it covers. With, with the heat shield. Okay, guys. So, I sure know. 
Because I look rock, for the turbo and I can't rock. find it at all. But guys, it, there's somewhere down here, so. Under this. Under the Perron Eel Chill. Yeah. Yeah, man. And, and the exhaust pipe wrap as well. Yo, guys. One thing with the Subaru engine bay, it's a very compact engine bay, so. So, for example, if you were to go to the turbo, you have to pull off everything up as well. You have to take off that. Yeah, man. I'll add most of these things. From, from, yeah, right up at top here. Yeah. So, right. when you take off this, everything exposed. Okay, okay, okay. All right, guys. As you can see, so the question that everybody wants to know, and would want to know, do I it is if you can tell us how much horsepower this car is making. Um, the last time we did it, um, did a uh, um, line up 375. Yeah, 375. Yeah. So, guys, they hear that. And, um, you know, in terms of G force and how it pull, what, what would you rate? How would you rate this car in terms of how it pull? And, and the power that you get in almost like when they are the airplane <laughs> <laughs> people would hear that mad thing 375 horsepower on the last dyno yo um what is the aim for this this car about six six hundred yeah i'm not gonna make that easy six hundred with the upgrades easy 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 people and of course you don't know a mad thing with this car as well you see me guys so we in the trunk and this is the med kit AM as well. But what I notice is that normally when I say boost juice, it have a color. But this one is very clear. Do I tell us why and, and how you got it to look like this? Well, this is basically like rubbing alcohol. So what I did was um, mix it, it's a 60 40 mix ratio. 40% um, distilled water, 60% methanol. And that's oh, it. Mad. And guys as you can see that allow it to look clear and yo them call it boost juice so when you're in them car you need some of this to kind of get some pep as well yeah, mad cool, thing cool, man mad man. thing cool cool and cool the cool the engine, engine cool yeah, cool yeah, to yeah. the intake okay mad 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 yo guys yo we're gonna take a car on the street now you know but we're gonna ask Dwight a few questions before we do that you see me so let's go into that all right, do it. So, yo, we see the car, and yo, the car look good. Um, I know, I know, cause I saw it in the garage when it was get, getting done, and I know it's recent since it was finished. But since you took it out the garage and did a few spin on the road with it, any feedback you've been getting on this car so far? Yes, man. Crazy, crazy feedback. The amount of people want to buy it from me right now. See? You know, I love it, man. Would you sell? For the right price. For the right price. All right, we now got to the right price. But guys in the year, <laughs> for the right price, do I will sell. If you were to sell this car, what would be your next move? Uh, maybe a, a evolution. Evolution. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. Ten. But my my dream car is a is a Supra. You know? Supra. I want a Supra. I'll well, go buy one. Supra, Supra. You don't know it, guys. Yeah. Supra machine, you know, yes, people. Man. So yo. Question to you, Dwight. I mean, you, you had this car for two years, you did a lot of work on it, resprayed some upgrades, and you have some more upgrades for it. And persons seeing this, I love a Subaru, and you know, it's one of these cars that I would drive for sure. But persons out there who own a Subaru are those who would want to be in the auto lifestyle, game, and build a car and stuff. What advice would you have for those persons? First thing you take money. That's the first thing. And you know, you have, if you love car, you go, you'll put some money in it, you know. And um, it's, it's fun, it's fun, you know, it's fun. Seen, seen. Yeah. So, do I say it's fun, but it take money, people. So, no, it go ahead. We know it take money, and you don't know it go ahead. Building a car is not that easy. So, I always say, take your time, you know, follow your heart and your dream, and just do what you have to do to get it to the level you want it to. And you know, do it, you know, we can't close up the part without you sending big ups to who you want, big ups. So, anybody want to big up at this time? Yeah man, I want to big up the tuna, Swiffy, Sprayman, Cereal, big up my wife, my family, and everybody will follow me on Instagram, Jamaican pool man. See, yeah, see, man. No mad flow. move, mad move. And yo, as you said Jamaican pool man, you said something a while ago, I want to quickly ask you. When you say Jamaican pool man, just tell if you a little bit about that part first now. Yeah man, I want a swimming pool company. Seen? Yeah. Jamaican pool man, if you search me on Instagram, you'll find me. Oh, see, see I'll, all the work, so bro. I'll put that link on the screen, guys, as well. I'll put it on the screen, I just see it, so you can check that out. So, if you're a pool and all that stuff, you want clean it, build it, or what? Build it from scratch. Okay. Pool, jacuzzi, all of that. 
Guys, you know you that? Man, only you're a fast guy, the man of real talent. So if you want to build a pool, a jacuzzi, anything about pool, jacuzzi, and them thing there, you know what to link. Jamaican pool, man. Link on the screen. So, yo, check that out. So, yo, we're going to jump in the streets, showing how the car sound, making you hear it, doing some pulls, and me telling how the machine is performing. You see me? Yeah. Guys, yo, I'm sorry I couldn't get for sure no more, but yo, the wood scoop and the car fly off, brother. Gone a bush, far gone. <laughs> car full of mash, full of power. When you talk about power, me that's the boy, yo, that, that, that car, something for talk about. And the man say, I'm have a more power to build, guys. So if, if, if 300 and a power feel like this, then 500 and 1000, Jaja, problem. So, yo, big up to everybody, you, know, you don't know where you're going. I'm going to make Dwight close up the vlog for me. So, Dwight. Yeah, man, big up to the world society. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Yeah man, real good you with this. You yeah, see man, me? Respect. You don't know I go. Big up everybody you know until next time. We out. Yeah.